I got one leg in. Two is better than one, okay? But the same thing, my knees are pointing towards the ground. If a leg goes straight back, my knee comes down and I'm, I'm totally based, okay? What I don't want is if his leg goes back, go back up for a second, like I'm very, here I'm using like my feet more. Like I'm trying to just hook with my feet. And when if he turns, if he pulls that leg back one, my legs, I'm starting to feel a disconnect. I'm slipping off, okay? The other thing can be is like, maybe I'm starting to cant to the side a little bit. He starts to go, I start to go, okay? I, if once I am on that top position, I want to stay 100% squared to him. This will be important throughout the class, especially when we start talking about chokes and everything, all right? I want my chest right here. This is the ideal spot for me, okay? So I bring in the second leg, it's the same thing. My knees are pointing down towards the floor, okay? It's quite a strong, you feel like quite a, a push into your ribs. Do yeah. you feel that? Like it's almost, it would appear, what it will feel like when he's doing it is that he's like thigh mastering your ribs. I'm not thigh mastering your ribs, I'm just pointing my knees. If I thigh master my ribs, I'm using my abductors and I'm gonna get very tired very quickly, okay? Your abductors are weak, okay, unless you're Suzanne Summers. My knees point down, that is the muscles of my leg going like this. These can lift me all day, okay? They can carry me up flights of stairs. They're quite strong and I won't feel much of a fatiguing uh, experience from that. One, two, three.